Hello YouTube viewers and random Robot Wars fans, is Carbide one of the most impressive robots ever? In its debut series it trashed all of its opponents, reaching the grand final where it lost out to claiming the title. They're back for series 2, bigger, better and more powerful than ever, and if you've ever wanted a model of this machine of destruction, then you've come to the right place. Welcome to Robot Wars competitor models, build a Carbide! In order to build Carbide, you will need the following. Some thin card, a strip of corrugated cardboard, some scissors, a ruler, a push pin, some black duct tape and some sticky tape, a black pen and a black sharpie, a green highlighter, and these instructions, which can be found on my Facebook page. A link to them is provided in the description below. So let's get started. First of all, if you're using a card box, slice it open along the corner using your scissors until it can be opened out completely. And naturally, if you're using some craft card, you won't have to do this. Next, you'll want to take the instructions and draw them all onto the card. And you can include all of the details on the robot here too, as well as color in each panel. So, as you can see here, each section has been drawn out with the green edges and the details of the wheels added and that silver notch that holds the spinning bar in place on the top as well as the wording of carbide across the top panel too. Now we're going to give these pieces some protection and strengthen them up to coat the panels in a layer of sellotape at the front which will kind of laminate each piece and give it protection from fading or scuffing over time. Likewise, coat the underside with some black duct tape. This will strengthen the card and make it much more durable, as well as cover up the designs of the card box if that's what you've used. Once that has been done, take your scissors and cut each panel out. So here we have all of our panels, and as you can see they have the sticky tape coating on the front, as well as that thick layer of duct tape on the back providing strength. Now it's time to put this model together. Start off by taping the back panel to the back of the bottom panel. I tend to use a strip of tape on the front and the back of the join to add more support. Further to this, take the interior support panel and bend it where instructed, then tape it into place. This will create a rectangular box which can be bent on the black panel to allow the spinning blade to rotate. Next up, add the two panels at the back, then bend them up and tape them to the back panel. The interior support is then taped to the inside of the robot as shown, and it will stop the top panel from bending or buckling down. Then add the side panels, which are bent in the middle before they're taped onto the robot. Now it's time for the spinner. Take your push pin and add some excess card around its base and tape it securely. Make sure one end of the card is cut into a rough circular shape so it's going to match the front of the base. This can now be taped to the front of the model where the disc will eventually go. Now you can add the front panels to each side and these can be cut down if the disc hits against them when it's added later. Then tape the top panel onto the model and as you can see carbide is really beginning to take shape. Time to make its devastating weapon, which is drawn onto the corrugated cardboard and then cut out. This can be painted, but I've decided to glue some tin foil onto here to make it look more metallic. Use a pen to create a hole in the centre of the spinner, then slide it onto the push pin where it should spin freely. Finally, add the top panel to the model, and there you have it. Your carbide is now complete. And here it is. It's not perfect by any means, and I did put this one together rather quickly, but you can take more time to add the details. The measurements may not be exact, so if you have a piece that doesn't fit right, you can cut it down to match. You can also wrap some corrugated cardboard around the bottom of the spinner bracket to make it look more like the robot. I haven't been building models since I was around 14 years old, so I'm still a bit rusty, but I think it turned out well. If you decide to give it a go yourself, let me know how it went. Make a video about it. And are there any other robots out there you want me to do a how to build of? Let me know in the comments. You can also find how to builds for Behemoth, Storm 2, Mute, Chronic the Wedgehog and Apollo on my channel as well. And if you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe for more videos. And keep up to date with my upcoming reviews by liking my Facebook page and following me on Twitter as well. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.